Hello everyone. Okay, so whether you are new to keto, you're thinking about keto, or you're a keto veteran and you've been doing this for a long time, I know one of the major dilemmas is the tortilla issue. I'm gonna solve that issue for you right now. See, the problem with keto tortilla recipes is that they're super, super eggy or they're dry and they crack and they fall apart the second you put something in them. I'm gonna show you a recipe that solves all of those problems and on top of that, it's super, super simple. So you could do like a whole batch of them on a Sunday and have them in your fridge for the entire week. They are perfect. It's my personal recipe and you will love them. They will pass the keto test. I guarantee it. Nobody's gonna know that they're keto. How well do these tortillas hold up? Take a look at how you can fold and twist these tortillas without any cracks or splitting. But how well do they hold up as tacos? Look, no cracks or breaking down the middle. These keto tortillas also stay together when wet from sauces or as enchiladas too. To make your own tortillas, first mix all the dry ingredients together using 3 4 cup of almond flour, half a cup of coconut flour, one and a half tablespoons of psyllium husk powder, one and a half tablespoons of baking powder, one tablespoon of xanthan gum or guar gum, quarter teaspoon of each of your desired spices, and of one teaspoon of salt. With your mixer on medium speed, quickly pour in one fourth cup of water, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar or white vinegar, one egg lightly whisked, Let it mix for about 10 seconds until it starts to form large chunks of dough. Okay, so now that we've got all the ingredients mixed up together, we're gonna take it all out of the bowl and we are gonna knead it together for just a second. You just wanna kinda make sure that everything's mixed up nice and pretty. And then we're gonna put it in some saran wrap. Now, the thing is, is that you can leave this in your fridge for 15 minutes if you want, or you can leave it in overnight. Now, the longer the better, but let's be honest, who wants to wait that long for our tortillas? So 15 minutes is just fine. So we're just gonna take it and put it in our saran wrap and put it in the fridge, like I said, 15 minutes is fine. Overnight is better, you decide. Okay, our dough has been in the fridge for about 20 minutes, not long enough, because I want tortillas. So here we go. Let me show you guys how to do this. It's really quick, it's really simple. I'm using freezer paper because parchment paper wrinkles super easy. And I know what you're thinking. So I've gotta go to the store and I've gotta get freezer paper and xanthan gum and it just, Slow down and don't get overwhelmed. It took you time to build your carb pantry. It's gonna take you time to build your fat fueled pantry, your keto pantry. So just one step at a time, don't get overwhelmed, but these are some of the staples to create your tortillas and it's gonna be worth it because you're gonna have them. So here we go. We're gonna take our little dough ball here, take a little chunk, about a quarter chunk off of it. And we're just gonna roll that around for a second and create kind of like a hockey puck, kind of like you're building like a hamburger patty. You're gonna flatten that in your hand a little bit. Just kind of try to get all of the, the wrinkles and the bumps out of there. Put that down. You wanna bring it as close as you can to the edge because you don't want it to roll out to the edges of your, your paper. So we're just gonna flatten that out as best we can. And then as soon as we get it as flat as we can with our hand, we're gonna go ahead and get this nice freezer paper. Now there's a paper side and a glossy side. You wanna use the glossy side. We'll put that down and get that kind of on your hip as well. That just keeps everything in place. It makes things convenient. And flatten it out again using your hand. It's all on my fingernails, but who cares? Press that down nice and flat. And then as soon as you have it as flat as you can with your hands, we're gonna get the rolling pin. Now, the rolling pin, I've put some blue painter's tape, if you wanna get a close up of that, on the edge. And that's just to make sure that we have the, the thickness of a tortilla. Because we don't want one side to be thin and one side to be thick. So that's a really good way of kind of ensuring that we have the right thickness on these bad boys. So we're gonna roll that out. And I would definitely suggest going outward with it so we can avoid those wrinkles. 
Okay, so that's about it. So let's go ahead and cut these bad boys out. And when you're lifting up the paper, you don't wanna just do a big dramatic lift. You wanna kind of roll back just like that. I even caught a couple there. Now what I'm using is like a five inch cookie cutter. You can get this as like at like a baker's supply store, but if you don't have something like this, and you're like, ah, oh, another tool to go get. Don't worry about it. Use a margarita glass, use a bowl with kind of tight edges, use um, a lid to something. Don't worry at all about having to get another tool. And the thing is too, is that once these cook, they're gonna like shrink a little bit. So keep that in mind and don't forget about burritos too using like a big lid and we'll get to that but here we go let's go ahead and cut out these tortillas we'll do one right there and then another one right there all right now once you see how amazing these cook up your mind is going to be blown let's peel this back and these go back in the dough. And this dough ball, by the way, this is about a baker's dozen. So you're gonna get about 13, 14 tortillas out of this if you do them this size. But don't forget about things like burritos and stuff. Get creative with it. This is a very versatile recipe. It can be used for a lot of different things. All right, let's cook these up so you can see what they look like when they're finished. Here we are, we've got our skillet. We're about on medium high. We're gonna go ahead and throw these on. Notice there's no oil. Nothing like that, we're just gonna put them on nice and dry. Now, the key to this is, is you wanna just keep flipping them. It's gonna be about 45 seconds, but it's gonna be a continual flip. They're gonna get done real fast, and as soon as you're done flipping that third one, you wanna come back to the first one and flip it on over. Like I said, about 45 seconds of this on medium high. It's done really fast. And these are going to be the best keto tortillas you have ever had. Welcome back, Taco Tuesday. I'm telling you right now. All right, so we're gonna just keep flipping them. Got about 20 seconds to go. All right, well, this one's being a pain in the butt. All right, we are about done. All right, here we go. So these are gonna come off now. Nice and pretty. I am ready for tacos. I don't know about you guys, but I am so sick and tired of wrapping everything in lettuce and having a nice, sturdy, pliable tortilla. That's what I'm talking about right there. And remember, these can be done burrito style, any style you want. This will be your go-to recipe for tortillas from now on, I promise. Well, I have solved your tortilla dilemma, so please share in the comments how much you absolutely love this recipe. And don't forget to use it for burritos and enchiladas, whatever. So here's the thing, I really want you to subscribe. Subscribe and hang out with me more. I'm gonna be coming back with more recipes. If you have any suggestions, please share them in the comments. And check out my social media. Make sure you check out my website. I am a keto coach and I am there for you all the way. So like, share, and subscribe. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.